Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Dr. the Gamer, back in another video. Now, the title is not clickbait. It's not a lie. I'm not, I'm not yanking your toe, boys. This is actually going to be my last video at Tico's house. As you guys know, uh, I think it was episode three. Uh, I ended up moving in with Tico, like three or four, somewhere around there. Uh, and I've made well over 30 videos. I've been here for over a month at Tico's house. But today is going to be my last video here at this place because uh, I'm moving. If you guys have been watching my streams these past few days, uh, then this video won't really be a surprise to you. But for the people who don't really watch the streams and aren't really too up to date with what's going on, you're probably really confused as to like what the heck's going on so in today's video i'm gonna do my best to explain why exactly i'm moving uh, away from tico's place and no i'm not moving in with anyone else my plan is to just move in by myself and have my own base and then i'm gonna be choosing the plot of land i'm gonna be making my house at and then we're gonna be getting started boys now before i get into the explanation as to why i'm leaving i just gotta give you guys once again a huge thank you for all the support on the content recently the channel is about to hit 100,000 subscribers, which is literally insane. So if you guys are already subscribed, I appreciate a ton. But if you guys haven't already clicked the sub button, what are you doing, boys? Just click the freaking sub button. So on to the topic of why I'm leaving. You guys, once again, are probably this is probably the number one question going through your minds. And honestly, for me, it's a pretty simple reason as to why I'm leaving. I want to get this out of the way. There is no beef between Tico and I. Tico literally knows I'm moving, so this is in no way. Uh, surprise to him. I've already cleared it by him. He's chill. We're cool. Uh, so there's no beef. Don't think that's the reason I'm moving away from Tico's place. But like I said, it's it's actually pretty simple. So when it came to, to me moving in with Tico, when I moved in, it was a pretty barren ply. No, none of this was here. The, the lava casting wasn't here. The farms, none of this is here. Basically, it was this little bitty house, or at the time, it was a little bitty house uh, that Tico was working on. And something I said I wanted to do when I started this server is, personally, I wanted to get better at building. When it comes to farms, I mean, you guys know, I'm just the farm guy. And so, I wanted to improve my building skills, you know, houses, structures, things like that. Uh, but one thing Tico did, pretty much all on his own, was build all this. I didn't build any of this. Uh, I didn't touch a single bit of the house. This is all Tico's. All this new expansion, this is Tico's, whatever this thing he's been building, this is all Tico's. And so, because I moved in with Tico, and this is Tico's house, this is Tico's land, I never felt like it was properly mine. Like, I never wanted to make changes to this house. I never wanted to say, oh no, Tico, you can't do that, you can't build this here, because this is, this is Tico's place. And so, because of that, I was never able to really build any houses. I was never really able to expand it into things that I wanted to do when I started the server. You know, Tico let me build all the farms, which, you know, farms are cool, but farms are super easy. You know, something like this is super simple and super easy. And so, what I really wanted to do on the server was to you know build my own stuff and living with Tico while it's been extremely fun I knew eventually I was gonna have to move out because I wasn't able to really do what I wanted to do here you know, Tico built this really big, awesome house, and he gave me a room, which I could not be more thankful for. Tico didn't have to let me move in with him, and so once again, I appreciate everything the guy's done for me. It's been a really fun uh, stay here, but at the end of the day, I want my own piece of land. I want to do what I want to do, and I don't want to be mean to Tico, because at the end of the day, I could boss him around and say, oh no, I don't like my room, go change it, or, you know, redo this, but it, it's his place, you know, I'm, I'm living with him, he's not living with me, and so I think it's time for me to, you know, spread my own wings, go fly away, get my own piece of land so I can make pretty much whatever I want to make. And also, I uh, don't have to worry about my stuff getting stolen. So yeah, my opinion, once again, it, it's a pretty simple reason I'm moving. I just, I just want to be on my own. I want to do my own thing and build my own things. And this also means more content for you guys. I mean, I literally never built a house. I think I spent one episode building a house and then that was it. And there's so many things I've wanted to do content-wise for you guys. But as you guys can see by my channel, my content right now pretty much revolves around farms and mining and i honestly just kind of don't like that so over the past few days on stream i've been doing my best to, to pretty much collect things i'm gonna need for the journey i have a ton of shulker boxes just filled with random things i'm gonna need you know bone meal feathers i pretty much took a uh, half of what was mine because you know we were pretty much living on that anyways i got some gunpowder shulker boxes i got a bunch of eggs in case i want to make a chicken farm i got some food some slime some iron coal all that good stuff uh, so that basically all I've got to do to move is just take my rockets and pretty much fly away. So there's a few more last things I need to do. I need to check up on. I just want, I need to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. Um, unfortunately, you guys are probably asking, well, Ducky, if you're moving, what's going to happen to your villagers? What, what are you going to do with them? 
And for the time being, these boys are staying put. I think I'm going to make a rescue mission in a few days. And I'm going to try to bring this bad boy. I want to bring my mini villager. Uh, but I'm planning to move somewhere around 10 to 15,000 blocks away. I'm moving this far away because, like I said, I want a huge chunk of land to do what I want to do. And I have some really big projects in store. And I don't want to be too cramped or beside anyone. So because of that, I'm going to have to try to move this guy 15,000 blocks. And Jeb, I would really love to bring Jeb along with me today. But once again, maybe I'll make a rescue mission and I'll bring uh, Mr. RGB Sheep 2 with me. But I'm not really too familiar on how bringing animals or villagers, you know, really long distances work. So I'm going to have to to freshen up my knowledge on that. Uh, let me check up stuff in here. Oh, I have a shovel down here. I did not know that. Uh, and an extra shulker box. All right. What else? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I almost left all this good stuff here. See, boys, that's why I got double check. I got to make sure I'm taking the goodies with me. See, put that down. I'm just going to take... I, I honestly don't even know what's in here. I think it's a lot of mending stuff. Just like old stuff. I mean, it's good to have. It's good to have some, some juicy... Uh, I don't think you're ever going to hear me complaining about having too many enchants. So, boom. There we go. Oh, let's see. Boys, I'm not going to lie. I made a secret chest a while ago. Uh, but then Tico, wait, what? T did he make another secret chest? Bro, what? Guys, I had a secret chest and it was like right here. And now it's right here. Um, I'm guessing this is mine. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know. I'm just going to take this stuff, chuck it in here. I mean, this is my secret room. So if Tico's putting things in my secret room, then that's kind of on him. I don't I don't even know why he's doing that. And I personally have a feeling that there's going to be some things I'm going to leave behind on accident. Like, I don't think I can take all my possessions with me in one journey. So, I might be back here on a few return trips. Let me check these chests. Uh, golden apple. Don't really care. Uh, a minting hose. Silk touch. Don't really care about this stuff. Just double checking all my belongings. Oh, that's a god boat. I'm taking a god boat with me. Everything else. Yeah, don't really care. Uh, obviously, in the chest. I'm going to keep this here because I actually have one on me already. And I went ahead on stream and actually made an entire second library. It's in one of these uh, shulker boxes right here. This shulker box contains a bunch of books, a bunch of bookshelves. And actually, uh, I believe in this shulker box, I have an enchantment table. So I basically, I tried to prepare as much as possible. Uh, all these books are Tico's books. If you're wondering, this guy just went mad with enchants for some reason. But I honestly think that's it. I actually need to grab a bit of cactus because I'm going to, guys, I'm going to have to remake these farms. I, I'm probably going to make an automatic melon farm at my new place. Uh, this cactus farm, I'm not gonna lie, I had big plans for it, but once again, I kind of knew I was gonna have to move eventually, so I didn't want to go too crazy, and a lot of you guys have been wanting me to build, you know, iron golem farms, and a lot of these really crazy farms, and while I would love to build these crazy farms for you guys, unfortunately, like I said, I knew in the back of my mind I was gonna be moving, uh, and so once again, when I'm at my own place, when I have my own land and my own house, I'm gonna be going really crazy and, and harder than ever with a lot of these builds. I just wanted to make sure the timing is right, and I didn't want to build some crazy farm just for me to move. Speaking of crazy farms, uh, I don't think in this video I'm gonna be tearing it down, but eventually I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tear down uh, this farm. The only reason I'm tearing it down is because of uh, the redstone components inside and all of the trap doors and stuff like a lot of this stuff I don't really want to make again and I probably won't even have access to for a while this thing also took me like five or six hours and I I, I am leaving Tico with a ton of gunpowder uh that's a double chest let me see that's another double chest uh yeah so he's got like three double chests of gunpowder in case he needs some but I think eventually I am gonna have to come back and tear this bad boy down and remake it you know like I said I'm gonna have to remake a lot of my farms but after some doing some some final checks. I believe this is all of my belongings here that I'm going to take with me right now for this trip. I'm going to go ahead and put everything in my shulker boxes. My light just pretty much already mended up, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to get a few more rockets, and then, yeah, I'll be on my way and find myself a new place to live. Man, putting up some stuff in these chests for the last time, boys. It's, it's kind of sad. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I have spent my pretty much entire time on the server grinding out this place building everything you guys have seen luckily shulker boxes are a thing and i can move pretty easily but it, it, it is bittersweet i guess all good things have to come to an end and like i said you know it, it's unfortunate i knew at the end of the day um that i was gonna have to leave tico's place and now that the lawsuit is cleared up and it looks like we're not gonna be getting sued 
Uh, I can leave with a, you know, a good conscience knowing I'm not leaving my boy Tico in the dust. He's not getting sued. And this means now that I don't live with a guy, if Tico decides to do some boneheaded things, uh, looks like I won't be getting sued again. So, uh, pretty much a win-win. And so I'm not actually going to be showing my journey, uh, to my new location. In the next video I upload on the channel, I'm going to explain as to why this is. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna take one last little victory lap around my place. See what there is to see. No, my cactus farm. What was my first farm here? I think it was my melon farm. Uh, and then my tree farm. I'm definitely rebuilding this bad boy. My tree farm, that, th that is literally one of the best things I've ever decided to build. Wait, let me make sure I have some wood. I don't even know if I have wood left. I have a feeling I didn't pack any wood for this trip. Uh, we got a bit of wood. We got some bone meal. I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. One thing I'm actually going to do before I head off is I'm going to get some obsidian so I can make another portal when I get there. Because I am a bit worried that my elytra is uh, it's not going to handle the trip too well, to be honest. Like, I don't know how far I can go before this elytra breaks. All right, well, I think it's finally time to head out. Hop through this end portal one last time. I do need to grab my bed. That's a good thought. Hey, villager, I'm sorry, my man. I'm going to need my bed. I will be back for you. Don't worry. I actually got this guy a zombie villager and turned him into a regular one. So I really want to take that guy with me. But unfortunately, not now. And I'm probably going to travel for eh, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, go really, really far away. And I will be uh, seeing you guys at my new place. Hey, yo. All I'm saying about my journey is when I said I'm going far, boys, I'm, <laughs> I'm going far away from Tico's place. That's all I've got to say about that. Also, I know I'm infamous for leaking my cords, but trust me, you guys are not going to catch me slacking one bit leaking my cords over the next few videos. Once again, if you want to figure out why I'm being so secretive, just make sure to watch my next video. Boys, I think I might have found where I want to live. This is perfect. You got a village here, and I need that, obviously, to get my villagers up and going again. You have water, which is literally exactly what I wanted. I wanted to live by water live near a village there's a really cool island over there that has a lot of really interesting things on it i mean we got sheep boys i i think we might have found it this might this might be my new home yeah you know little island vibes the thing is formula lives in the snow random lives in this like kind of hilly area uh kaz literally lives in the side of a mountain tico lives in a pretty like normal place and so i feel like i want to bring a different vibe uh to mine sort of like an island kind of vibe you know i i do hate building around water and working with water but i feel like you know this has got some potential especially with the village being right here i mean boys i i think it's just kind of meant to be one thing though oh no i can't sleep formulas afking on the server boys i can't sleep oh no dude oh there's a lot of stuff going on here I'm going to go ahead and build a really scuffed... Oh, yeah, that is scuffed. A scuffed nether portal, because I do want to see where exactly in the nether I am. Oh, I just built this completely wrong. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I can't go to bed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't like this. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not living here, bro. Oh, my gosh. Someone help me. Villagers, help me. Dude, I'm getting bombarded. This creeper's going to... Oh, my gosh, dude. I need some, I need some torches, I need some torches, stat, pronto, ASAP, bro. I might, uh, no way I die, bro. Oh, he just killed the pig. I might die, man. You know, boys, I'm gonna pull the, the beta move. I'm just gonna sit in this hole and I'll wait till it's the daytime. Nope. Oh, but, oh, bro, I was checking it. Oh, wow, they're camping, bro. They're spawn camping me. Okay, how about now? Okay, dude, this is the longest night ever. Hey, it's daytime. Let's go. All right, let me check out the nether. See if I can figure out <laughs> which shulker box has my flint in it. This one? No. Nope. Huh? Hello? Bro, I'm getting griefed out here. Maybe I should move here, man. This might be a sign. Ah, there we are. Should probably make some chests. And like a crafting table while I'm at it though. I feel like that'd be a pretty good thing to do right now. This is gonna be like the most valuable chest on the entire server. I have all my crap in there. Problem is, I don't have a silk touch. Do I have a silk touch pick? Uh I might. My axe is silk touch, because if I place this down, I'm gonna have to 
either make another one or do something. I don't know. For the time being, I just want to check out the... I want to see where my nether spawn is. Uh, but I'm not going to be showing you guys. Because if I show you guys where I am in the nether, it's going to leak, like, everything. But a question I want to pose you guys is... Should I live right here on this little island? Make my house here? Or... Should I go back to this island over here? Because I really haven't, like, taken too many suggestions from you guys. When it comes to farms, I, I do sometimes. Uh, but this island over here, it's really small, but it's so sick. I mean, dude, there's flowers everywhere. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Like, bro, this island is a literally so sick. And, like, building a house here would be so dope. I mean, there's sea turtles. So, should I build my island on the super small flowery one or on the bigger island that i'm assuming is connected to some mainland with the village so i'm gonna leave a poll down below in the description you guys can vote either for the first one which is the uh, flower island or i guess we'll call this like the village island because i'm fine either way uh but at the same time i kind of want to let you guys you know have a say in where i live and the future of the series on this server for the time being though i think i'm going to set up like a very small house and i've just realized i told you guys i'd forget something i forgot uh, to bring any sort of cobblestone or anything like that. So, I'm, I'm gonna build a really scuffed house. But at the same time, I'm not really scared of anyone taking my stuff. Because, you know, I'm Becky the Gamer. And there's no way these dudes are finding me. Before I do this, let me check out the village. Just imagine just off the bat, there's a mending villager. Like, imagine the luck. I'm, I'm giving a librarian villager. That would be so insane. Nope, this guy doesn't even have a job. He's a little broke boy. Ooh, farmer. Farmers are good. I like some farmers. Uh, this trade's gonna suck. No job. Oh my gosh, what is this guy? A cleric? 32 rotten flesh for emeralds. That, that, there's some potential there, I'm not gonna lie. Not a big fan of that trade. What is this guy? Don't even have a job either, bro. We'll so <gasps> no, oh, that's actually not that bad. On breaking two, wait, wait, wait. Come back here, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Hey, this guy's about to die, man. What happened to you? He's looking rough. 15 emeralds for a breaking two. That's not bad. Ooh, nine emeralds for a bookshelf. That's a good trade. In case I don't have a uh, enough bookshelves for fully maxed out enchantment table, then I guess we're chilling. And honestly, my light just didn't take that much of a beating. Uh, it has like half my health, so I can literally hop back in the nether, fly back to my old nether portal, which will take me to my end farm and do all that stuff. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do for this video. I might just end it off here. Like I said, I might build... Uh, a really small scuffed house just to put some stuff in because I don't want to have I don't want to like just be chilling with nothing as in like no house or anything like that but yeah I, I really do want to give you guys the uh, the option to to sort of have a, a say in where I live because as much as it is my series you no know, I honestly wouldn't be playing this server nearly as much if you guys didn't watch my content as much as you guys already do so literally if it weren't for you guys I wouldn't be cranking out the content as much as I am so I feel like I at least owe you guys something you know a little say in, in what we got going on here man this house is so bad <laughs> i told you guys i suck at building i mean this, i'm not even trying to make a house though was for the memes little little dirt roof one time for the one time i like it see this this is architecture this is design this is style off center doorway oh bro this could not be better with a little bit of mossy cobble oh man this is a little i'm dripping so hard right now all right, got all my shulkers in place. Got the diamonds, some of the rare stuff, some essentials. Um, yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty good. So considering the next step is definitely building a house, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much just going to end off the episode here because, like I said, I want you guys to have a say. Uh, at least, I mean, it's, it's just this island or that island, but I really do like the island vibes, I believe. Let me just go see. I think this is connected to a little bit more land, or maybe it's not um oh no so this definitely connects like a bigger landmass, uh and there is spruce trees so that that'll be good for my spruce farm but as you guys are gonna see in some uh later episodes i have some really 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 big plans in store for builds and for the future of everything like that and i honestly could not be more excited now that i'm living on my own it was a blast living with tico once again uh he didn't have to take me in if it weren't for tico allowing me to live with him i probably wouldn't have had nearly as much fun as i've had uh on the last month on the server so once again thank you tico uh for that no bad beef whatsoever but yeah with all that being said to been your boy ducky the gamer and i will see you guys in the next episode of craft night peace Thank you.